hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial on docker so this will be a docker tutorial for beginners and this will be a continuation of my series so we had done a lot of tutorial on docker so please check my playlist for that so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can set up a private docker registry using jfrog artifactory so if you see the previous tutorial on docker we have spoke about what is a docker registry we have explained about docker hub right we have also discussed about uh, gitlab container registry which we can also use to store our docker images uh, we have also seen how to set up your own uh, local registry using a registry container so we have seen all those things and now in today's tutorial we will see how to set up a private docker registry using jfrog so the you know the basic uh, pre-request like before doing getting into the actual process of doing like we need to have some pre-requests for this tutorial so one is like you need to have a machine which you have a docker install so that you can download some images you can tag it and you can push to the uh, jfrog uh, your private container registry okay docker registry and you know for do, to do that you need to have a jfrog artifactory instance or a cloud instance so you can uh, have you know, if you have license for jfrog you can set up it on your local machine or you can run it through a container what i have seen is like if you create a jfrog uh, docker container using community edition or oss edition we don't have the type for docker so if you have that type only when you create the repositories you can use docker as the repository then you should be able to push it uh, the container so the best option would be like you can create a cloud instance which is a free uh, cloud instance uh, which i will show you how to do that i will give the link for that also in this video description so you can create a account in the jfro cloud instance where you can create it then you should be able to continue this tutorial if you don't have the uh, license and the type for docker available in your jfro okay so the steps what we will do in this tutorial will be like uh, creating a jfrog uh, cloud instance first because you know for that uh, i'll show you the step like you can go to a link we can register it and you should be able to get a specific uh, you know a login details like you can set up your uh, comp you know user uh, account and it should be like for me to be like the tips for you dot uh, jfrog dot io which i'll use it to log into the jfrog account and you know you can um, create a local docker repository which is the basic local doc uh, repository where we'll be pushing it but you know to have a correct method or where if you want to have any cached account like you can use the remote docker repository as well and you can combine both into a virtual docker repository so you should have both the remote and local repository and the virtual repo docker repository will have the uh, you know the pattern like which would be your primary a repository so when you push the containers it will go to your uh, local registry okay so we'll see all those things okay and uh, we'll also see how to create a custom docker image from your docker machine and you will push it to this pro uh, private docker repository so that will be our uh, complete tutorial in this and it, i'm sure it will be very interesting and it's also not that tough it's a very simple process okay so before i get into the actual demo i would request you like if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also like my videos share and comment so to get started as, as i mentioned like you know you need to have a jfrog uh, account so if you see i have my own personalized account like tip for you.jfrog.io and i have logged into that where i'll be able to see uh, the different uh, settings which i want to explain as part of my artifactory tutorial so what I, you can do is i will share this link where you can uh, go to jfrog.com and container registry where you'll have this option called uh, free cloud and it does not require any credit card or anything you can just click on that and you know you should be able to create uh, a J jfrog uh, instance and you can select you know whether which cloud provider whether aws google cloud or microsoft Azure. so don't worry you can select any cloud provider it's back end you know they will take care of the whole process you can give a uh, server detail which uh, location you want depending upon your country and the server name you have to give and make sure that you are uh, making note of it for example for me it's uh, it was uh, the tips for you 
dot jackfrog dot io right similar way you can set a name for your instance and you can create give your email address you can give your password you can give the details and you can just proceed and you also need to confirm your uh, email once you get an email so once you've done it you should be able to log in with that uh, account okay so once you log in what you need to do is go to the administration and you have the repositories and if you see the repositories you should be able to see the default local repositories general maven uh, all those default repositories for local and you'll have remote and virtual right so what we will do is we will go to add repository and we'll add a local repository first okay and here if you see this uh, package type now we have all the options like alpine cargo chef docker and everything right this is what i was talking like if you have the uh, no artifactory installed locally or on docker if you don't have a proper license you may not get this uh, type as docker so you need to have the docker type for this tutorial so usually you may get like one or two alpine maven or generic those types which you can use it for other tutorials but may not be will not be applicable for this tutorial so we need to select the package type as docker okay and we need to give the details uh, for uh, the repository key so I will give the name of the repository as docker local okay so you can give any name and I will keep the rest of uh, the details as like that I'm not going to change anything like the layout or the tags uh, you know, those things I will just keep it as it is and I'll just click on save and finish so now you can see it's a doc uh, local repository is created so you can use directly use this one to uh, login with your uh, you know, account details and you can push it as well okay so in order to you know make it more uh, robust like as i mentioned like i want to create uh, you no know, cached repository for the remote repository as well so uh, let me uh, close this one and i will uh, create one more repository called remote repository okay so uh, here also i will use docker and let me give the name so i will give the name as docker hyphen remote and you can see the url is there and if you see the remote repository you can give uh, you know the authentication for your docker hub where you can use username password and all those things but i'm not going to give anything at this point i'll just keep it as it is and i uh, just want to show you and i'll just click on uh, finish okay so the remote repository is also created now then uh, next one i'll create a virtual repositories and uh, let me just give the name so here I'll just give the name as Docker because this will be your uh, primary uh, repository as virtual but in the back end you know we will map uh, the other repositories so if you see the repositories I will move the docker local here and also the remote uh, you need to make sure that the you know the priority the docker local should be on the top and you know the remote should be on the below and also I would like to change the default re deployment repository as uh, docker local because that should be your default uh, deployment repository otherwise if you you know, um, you know uh, push the images it will not come to your uh, artifact instance so let me save this so we are done uh, from you know you can make a note of all these commands because we will be using this like uh, docker login uh, you know we need to tag the images using uh, you know the similar kind of uh, uh, tagging which you know the only the you know the repository url will be changing because we use the similar kind for gitlab as well and then we need to push it and we will we can pull the image from here as well now let me also show you like if i go to my uh, artifact artifacts and you should be able to see the repositories here and uh, i don't see anything over here yet if you see docker local or uh, remote i don't have any contents over here okay so what i will do is now i'll move on to my machine which uh, which is this uh, docker machine and i have uh, docker images so i have a alpine image over here so what i will do is i will uh, create a uh, tag this image uh, to uh, to the name so i will use docker alpine tag and i will give the name like my repository url the tipsory.jfrog.io slash the name of uh, you know the image i want to give and the tag so if you see you know i'm tagging with the the tipsory.jfrog.io and this is, would be my repository docker which is the virtual one if you you know i'm not uh, mapping directly to the local so by if you even if you give the virtual now it should go to the local one as well 
so let me tag this okay so now you can see i have tagged so if i go to docker images you can see there is a new image uh, like this right now let me log into this um, or my private docker private repository so in order to log in i have to use docker login and the repository uh, url okay so it's trying to authenticate so since i already logged in before it's uh, successfully logged in now in in case if you in your case it, if you are doing it for the first time it will ask you to enter the username and password you can use the same username and password which you used it to create your uh, cloud account or you know you log into that cloud account right so use the same one over here so it will be logging in now what we can do is you can push so i will um, let me see the docker images first then i will use docker push and i will uh, push this image now you can see it's pushing the image so uh, Yep, it's completed the push as well. Now, if I go back to my Artifactory uh, private repository, let me refresh it. Now, if I expand this, you can see there is an Alpine folder, right? And it should have the whole details about your uh, you know, image manifest because it's the latest one which I've given as a tag, right? So it should have all the details here in the virtual repository and it also should be there in your local repository. So now you can see your image is up here, right? So, uh, you know, that's how it's simple. Like you can create your own uh, private repository and you can push it. Now, this was a simple example. Like I used an existing uh, Alpine and tagged it. If you have a Docker file, you can build that Docker file into a Docker image. You can use, uh, you know, tag that image into uh, this format and then you should be able to push it. Now, let me remove this uh, image here so that we can pull it so now you can see like uh, that image is removed so now what we can do is you can even pull a docker pull and uh, we can use the latest tag so it should be able to pull this image from your private uh, docker uh, repository now so you can see it has completed so let me see docker images now you can see the images back so the it's pretty simple now now this link is uh, available for you from you know, any machine you can use it uh, in any machine you can download this image you know like a docker hub you should be able to use it and you should be able to create your own containers and you should be able to make use of that image anywhere you want so it is not uh, pretty simple and you know it's a easy you know easy way to create your own private registry i'm not sure about how much uh, the space is allocated as part of this free uh, you know cloud instance from jfrogs you need to go through that and find out because tomorrow i don't want to end up you like you put too much of image and it will cost you something and as far as uh, we have not set up any credit card at the time of uh, you know uh, usage so you know uh, so I don't think it it will charge you anything at this point but I would request you to, to have a look on that as well so that is all for this tutorial I hope uh, it's an informative tutorial so I would request you to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and also like my videos share and comment so uh, thank you for watching